Ja täna on siis kolmas osa seeriast jõud varanduse soetamiseks. Now we taught on prosperity before in our church. Ja me varem oleme me kogutuses rääkinud edukusest. But this time we are coming at this subject of prosperity and finances from a little bit different angle. Aga nüüd me oleme jõudnud siis siin teemas selle edukuse teise nurga juurde. And I'm teaching prosperity from a Jewish perspective. Finants edukuse teise teise nurga juurde ja ma räägin siis õpetan praegu seda finants edukuste juudi vaate nurgaste. What the Jewish rabbis how they teach uh, the orthodox Jews concerning what God has spoken about finances. Kuidas juudi rabid õpetavad need õige usklikud juudi rabide, mida nad õpetavad finantsidest. Now obviously not every Jew believes uh, what we're teaching. Ja väga ilm on see, et kõik juudid nad ei usu seda, mida me õpetame. Just like, you know, not in every church everybody believes the same thing. Ja täpselt nii nagu igas koguduses kõik ei usu ühtemoodi. Uh, but but this is what the orthodox rabbis uh, teach their people concerning the covenant that they have with God. Aga see on see, mida õige usklikud rabid õpetavad, juudi rabid õpetavad siis juudi kogudusele. And obvious, obviously, as we look at the Jews all around the world, ja väga ilme on see, kui me vaatame juute kogu üle maailma, they are a blessed people. Nemad on õnnistatud rahvase. They are the richest people group on the planet. Nemad on kõige rikkam inim grup siin planeedile. And so uh, we have seen that, that uh, you know, they, they understand the covenant that me, they have with God. Me oleme näinud seda, et nemad mõistavad seda lepingut, mis neil on Jumala. And what we are trying to do is to to see how this covenant will work for us. Ja mida me proovime vaadata näha on see, kuidas see leping saab toimida meie jaoks. And if you're wondering why I'm teaching like a Jewish rabbi. Ja kui sina imestad mille pärast mina õpetan nii nagu juudi rabi. I don't want you to be worried to think that we're going to become some Jewish church. Siis ma ei taha, et sa hakaksid praegu muretsema, et meis saab juudi koguduse. You know, uh, I want to be very clear about that. Ja ma tahan olla väga selge selles. You know, there are many things that, that the Jews believe that I do not believe at all. On olemas väga palju seda asju, mida juudid usuvad, mida mina ei usu üldse. Uh, there's there's uh, things that I really disagree with. Ja on asju, mille suhtes mina olen väga teisel meelele. One of the biggest things that I disagree with is they do not believe that Jesus was the Messiah. Üks suurimad asju, millega mina ei nõustu, on see, et nemad ei usu, et Jeesus on Messias. And so I am not teaching this to make you think that Judaism and Christianity are the same. Nii et mina ei õpeta seda selle pärast, et anda sulle teada seda, et tead, judaism ja Kristus on sama. Uh, they, they are not comparable at all. Et need ei ole üldse võrreldavad. Judaism is not equal to Christianity. Judaism ei ole võrdne Kristusega. And, and there are many traditions that I believe pull us more away from God than bring us to God. Ma usun seda, et on olemas väga palju seda sellised traditsioone, mis tõmmavad meid Jumalas teemale, mitte me ei vii meid temale lähemale. Because we know that Jesus came and he fulfilled everything for us. Kuna me teame seda, et Jeesus tuli ja tema täitis kõik meie jaoks. So that we can have a relationship with the Almighty God. Nii et meil saab olla suhe kõik võimse Jumalaga. And so we just need to be wise enough though as the church nii et meie kogusena peame olema piisavalt nutikad arukad to be able to look at some of the things that they do believe et vaadata mõnda seda asju mida nemad usuvad the things that are working neid asju mis toimivad and to be able to apply that to our christian walk with god ja olla võimelised rakendama neid asju oma kristlas elus kui me käime koos jumalaga and one of the areas that we could take from them and apply to our life is this area of, of finance. Ja üks valdkond, kus kohas me saame need asjad võtta ja rakendada enda elus on finants on finantsala. And Jews believe that because of their covenant with God. Ja juudid usuvad seda, et tänu nende lepingule Jumalaga that they will prosper in everything that they do. Nad on edukad kõiges, mida nemad teevad. Well, who do they think they are? Kes nad nüüd arvad, et nad on? They think they're the children of God. Nad mõtlevad seda, et nemad on Jumala lapsed. Who are you? Kes oled sina? We are the children of God. Meie oleme Jumala lapsed. And there's many times in the Bible where it compares the blessing of Abraham and the church. Ja väga tihti on nii in Biiblis, the New Testament. Väga tihti Biiblis on nii, kus võrreldakse Abrahama õnnistust kogudusega Uues Testamentise. And, and so we need to get clear about this revelation that they have. Nii et meie peame saama siis selgeks selle ilmutuse, mis on neile. Because the promise that God made to Abraham they're blessed. Selle pärast, et see tõotus, mille Jumal andis Abrahamile, on, teid, on teinud neid õnnistatukse. And the promise that God made Abraham, we can be blessed. Ja selle tõotuse, mis Jumal andis Abrahamile, selle läbi saame ka meie ole õnnistatud. And so it's clear that this works for the Jewish people. Nii et see on väga selge, et see toimib juudi rahva jaoks. And that... that, that, that uh, Revelation about what God has done is passed down from generation to generation. Ja see ilmutus selles, mida Jumal on teinud, kuidas Jumal toimib, on antud edasi põlgonnas põlgonda. And so we're studying these things that are implanted into the Orthodox Jews. Nii et me õpime neid asju, mis on siis istutatud ja 
Juudi õigeusu kogudusse. And they believe in this, this uh, prosperity. Ja nemad usuvad seda jõukuse asja. And we know that God has no problem at all with blessing people. Ja me teame seda, et Jumalal ei ole üldse mingi probleemi oma rahva õnnistamisega. But he just wants us to keep him first. Aga tema lihtsalt tahab, et meie hoiaksime tema esi kohale. So for the first couple of weeks we, we've kind of looked at a few points that, that, that are, are taught in Jewish synagogues. Nii et esimesel paari nädal me vaatasime mõndasid punkte, mida õpetatakse juudi, juudi sünagogis. One of them is that, is that they they believe that business is good. Üks asi on see, et nemad usud, et äri on hea. Say business is good. Ütle, et äri on hea. <laughs> business is good. Äri on hea. And everybody is in business. Ja kõik on äris kuidagi. Uh, uh, you know, even if you don't have have a job, you're in business. Isegi kui sul ei ole töökohta, sina ikkagi osaled ärise. Right? Because even a, even a customer is part of business. Isegi klient on osa äriste. And so we are either offering goods or we're taking goods me- but either both sides is business meie kas pakume kaupa teenust või ostame kaupa või teenust see mõle, mõlema mõlem pool on siis osa sellest äriste so we're all customers of at least something nii et väh- me kõik oleme siis kliendid vähemalt millegis and so all of us are involved in business nii et me kõik oleme ärise kaasatud and business is good for us business is good for the community äri on hea meie jaoks äri on hea kogukonna jaoks business is good ja äri on hea and our job i think is to make our better ja mina usun et meie töö on saada ennast paremaks so that we can do business right need me saaksime teha äri õigesti that we could be the right kind of provider and the right kind of client et me saaksime olla õiget sorti varustaja ja õiget sorti klientte but the jews prosper for many reasons aga juudid on edukad mitmel põhjusele you know they are very wise with their finances ja tead seda et nad on väga siis et targad oma finantsidega they are hard working nad on väga kõvad töötegijad they're faithful nad on ustavad people trust them inimesed usadavad neid uh, you know uh, uh, you know and if somebody comes to me kui keegi tuleb minu juurde and says pastor would you please pray for me ja ütleb tead pastor paleta minu eest pray that i would get a raise on my job ja paleta mina saaksin oma töö juures palga tõusu i need more money ma vajan rohkem raha would you pr- pray just pray that my 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 salary would be raised ja palun paleta seda et minu palk läheks suuremaks my question then to them is this minu küsimus neil on see well what are you doing to deserve a raise mida sina teed et väärida seda palga tõusu what are you doing? How how are you working that that them giving you a raise would be a deal for that company? Mida sina teed? Kuidas sina te- sina töötad nii et see palga tõus saaks olema nendele kasulik? Because the problem is this is most people they want something for nothing, don't we? Kuna probleem on selles et paljud inimesed tahavad saada midagi mitte millegi eest. Give me a raise. Anna mulle palga tõusu. Why? Miks? Because I want one. Kuna ma tahan ühe. <laughs> you know, not that we deserve it. Mitte et me seda kuidagi vääriksime but that we want one. Vaid meie tahame saada seda. I think we need to go to work and we need to be the best worker that we can be. Mus on seda, et me peaksime minema tööle ja me peaksime olema parimad töötajad, kes me saame olla. Amen. Amen. We need to go there and we need to show up a little early and we need to stay a little bit late and we need to be ones who are giving our very best. Me peame sinna minema, peame alati olema kohal natukene varem, minema natukene hiljem ja see aeg, kui me seal olema, anma enda kõige parema. Present yourself as somebody who deserves the raise. Esitle ennast kellegina, kes väärib seda palga tõusu. And then you can believe God to get that. Ja siis sina saad uskuda, uskuda Jumalalt, et sa saad selle. Amen. And that's Amen. what the Jews believe. They believe we are to work with excellence. Ja see on see, mida juudid usud, et meie peame töötama andes oma parima. That we are to work in a way to succeed. Et meie peaksime töötama nii, et meie edeneme. That we would have meil success. Edukas, et meil on edu. And, and we have a responsibility in that. Ja meil on olemas vastutus selles. You know, it's not just up to everybody else to give to us. We have a responsibility to be one to, that's worthy of the gift. See ei ole nüüd kõik teistest, et teised on nüüd need, kes peab meil andma, vaid see oleneb meist, et meie oleksime need, kes teevad endaga ennast siis vääriliseks, nii et me võiksime saada. And then last week we looked at the servant's heart. Ja eem nädal me vaatasime teenia südant. And how uh, Jesus said that the servant is going to become the greatest. Ja kus Jeesus ütles seda, et teenia saab kõige suuremaks. And God, uh, we know this, that God will bless the work of our hands. Ja me teame seda, et Jumal õnnistab meie kätte tööd. And as we serve others, God will bless that work and it will, it will bring in Kui me ja teenime teisi, siis Jumal õnnistab seda tööd ja see toob meile kasvu. And we can believe God for more and more and more. Ja me saame uskuda Jumalalt rohkem ja rohkem. But as we said, deeply rooted in the Jewish culture. Aga nii nagu mõtsen, et väga süavalt on juurdunud juudi kultuuri. Is this principle. Et see prinsiip. That the only way that you can achieve wealth. Et ainus viis, kuidas sina võid saavutada edu. Is by helping others. On läbi teiste aitamise. 
That's, that's what they believe. That's, what, that's part of who they are. See on see, mida nemad usuvad. See on osa sellest, kes nemad on. That if they're going to uh, you know, have wealth, they, they start by serving others. Et kui nad tahavad saada endale jõukus, siis nad hakkavad teenima teisi. And so let's go ahead and read again from Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18. Ja jällegi loeme viies Moose raamat 8. pead üks salm 18. It says, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability and power to produce wealth, so to, to so <coughs> confirm his covenant <coughs> Excuse me, which he swore to your forefathers as it is to this day. Vaid tuleta meelde issendat oma jumalat, et see on tema, kes annab sulle jõu varanduse soetamiseks, et kinnitada lepingut, mille ta vandudes tegi su vanematega, mis nüüd ongi teostunud. And so we, we remember that, that, that uh, you know, it is God who has given us everything that we have. Me mäletame seda, et, et see on Jumal, kes on alu meile kõik selle, mis meil on. Don't think it's because of you and how smart and great you are. Ära mõtle seda, et see nüüd sinu pärast ja selle tõttu, kui tark ja kui, kui imeline sina oled. Everything that you've been given, all the blessings in your life, they come from God. Kõik, mis sulle on antud, and we are told to remember that. Ja meil on öeldud, et meie because seda. it's so easy for us to forget that and to think that we're the one who is special and take our eyes off of Kuna God. Meie jaoks on nii lihtne hakata mõtlema seda, et, et me ei oleme neid väga erilised ja et me pöörame oma silmad ära Jumalalt. But today I want to move on to another thing that, that the Jewish rabbis are uh, teaching and, and, and impart to their people. Aga täna ma tahan rääkida ühes teisest asjast, mida juudi rabid õpetavad oma rahvale, mida nad siis panevad neisse. And it's this point here that life is not fair. Ja see punkt on see, elu ei ole õiglane. Say life is not fair. Ütle, elu pole õiglane. <laughs> Elu pole õiglane. Life is not fair. Elu ei ole õiglane. Have you ever noticed that? Kas ole kunagi märganud seda? I've noticed that. What? We've got an alarm going off, I guess. Mingi alarm hakkas your... tööle seal. Oh, is that... Is that your iPad going off? I think it might be. Yeah, can you go check your iPad? Because it's going to bother me if that keeps ringing off. All right, anyway. Life ja. is not fair. Elu ei ole õiglane. Because things mess up our day. Kuna asjad rikkuvad ära meie oh, päeva. Thank you. Everything's good. Ai thank täh, you guys. And, and, and you know the world system that we live in, it see, is an imperfect system. See maailma süsteem, milles me elame, see on ebatäiuslik süsteem. It is not a perfect system. See ei ole täiuslik süsteem. The world system is it, it hinders the progression to wealth. Maailma süsteeme takistab jõukuse saamist. The world system wants to hold you back. Maailma süsteem tahab sind hoida tagasi. And not allow us to move forward to the plan of God. Ja mitte lasta sul liikuda edasi Jumala plaanise. And many times what God said in his word that he desires for us. Ja väga tihti, mida Jumal on öelnud oma sõnas, mida tema igatseb meie jaoks. We see if we just sit back and let life be life. Et siis me näeme seda, kui me lihtsalt istume ja laseme elul olla elu. That we have opposite of what God says. Siis meie saame vastu pidisem sellele, mida Jumal ütleb. But go back with me to, uh, I'm sorry, Genesis, Genesis chapter 3. Ja panu läheme tagasi praegu esimene Moose raamat kolmas pead ükke. And this is at the very beginning. Ja see on päris alguses. And again, um, they're in the garden. Ja jällegi nemad on aias. Man has has fallen and eaten from the tree that God said do not eat from. Inimene on langenud, on juba söönud selles puust, mille kohta Jumal on öelnud ära söö sealt. And when they did that a curse came upon them and a curse came upon the world. Ja kui nad tegid seda, siis see needus tuli nende üle, needus tuli kogu maailma üle. And so here in Genesis chapter 3, let's start reading with verse 17. Ja siin Esimene Moose raamat kolmas peatükki alustame lugemist salmis 17. God is speaking to Adam. Ja Jumal räägib sinna Aadamale. He said because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree which I commanded you you must not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you and through painful toil you will eat of it all the days of your life. Aga Aadamale ta ütles et sa kuulasid oma naise sõna ja sõid puust milles mina olin sind keelanud öeldes et sa tohi selles süüa siis olgu maa pin neetud sinu üle astumise pärast. And it will produce thorns and thistles for you and you will eat the plants of the field. Vaevaga pead sa selles sööma kogu elu aja. Ta peab sulle kasvatama kibu, vitsu ja ohakaid ja põllu taimed olgu sulle toidukse. And by the sweat of your brow you will eat of the food until you return to the ground since from it you were taken. From dust you were and to dust you will return. Oma palge higis pead sa leiba sööma. Kuni sa jälle mullaks saad, sest sellest oled sa võetud. Tõesti sa oled põrm ja pead jälle põrmuks saama. So God said now 
Everything is cursed because of you. Ja, Jumal ütles, et nüüd on kõik needud sinu pärast. And he said, now for you to, to be provided for, you're going to have to work for it. Ja ta ütles, et nüüd, et sina saaksid endale varustus, selleks sa pead tegema tööd. Now, we do not know how things were in the garden before this time. Ja me ei tea, kuidas asjad olid kuni selle ajani. But it is obvious here that in some way that the earth provided willingly for Adam. Aga siin on ilmne selge on see, et kuidagi see maa to, toit see maa tootis Aadama jaoks. And so it, it produced for him. See tootis tema jaoks. And now God said now the ground is cursed. Ja Jumal ütles, et nüüd see maa on neetud. And it's not going to just produce for ja, you. Ja see lihtsalt nüüd ei tooda sinu jaoks. You're going to have to work it to make it produce Vaid for you. Pead tegema tööd selleks, et sa töötama sinu you're going to have to work hard. It's going to be by the sweat of your brow that you're going to be provided sa pead selle tööle panema. Sina pead tegema kõvasti tööd. Sa pead kõvasti higistama ja vaeva nägema, et sa and, saaksid sealt midagi. And so again, the world is, is reluctant now to provide for man because of the curse. Ja jällegi siis see the world is reluctant to provide for man because of the curse. Ja jällegi nüüd enam see maa siis enam ei taha toota selle needuse tõttu. And because of that poverty is the natural state for man on the planet. Ja selle tõttu vaesus on nüüd see loomulik olek inimese jaoks. Somebody who does not understand how to work the system and then put effort into that? Ja keegi siis inimene, kes ei mõista, kuidas see süsteem tööle panna, nii et see toodaks nende jaoks. If you don't understand how to prosper, you will live in poverty. Kui sina ei mõista, kuidas olla edukas, siis sa vaesuses. And we look around the world and we could see that to be true. Ja kui me vaata maailmas ringis, me näeme, et see on tõde. And there's always stories of people that grew up in poverty. Ja alati on lugusid selles, kuidas see inimene kasvas üles vaesuses. Grew up in the middle of India or, or, or places where they have nothing. Kasvas üles Indias või paigas, kus neil ei ole mitte midagi. And they learned how to work the system and they came out of poverty and, and you know, own large companies today. Ja nad õppisid, kuidas seda süsteemi panna tööle enda jaoks ja nüüd nad juhivad suuri firmasid. And so we see it's about learning how to make it work for it to work for us. Nii et me näeme seda, et asi on selles, et kuidas panna see tööle enda jaoks, nii et see töötaks meie jaoks. Because with us just trying to make everybody the same, it doesn't work. See pärast, kui meie proovime teha nii, et nüüd kõik on võrdselt, see asi ei tööta. You know, communism does not work. Kommunism ei toimi. Let's make everybody the same, nobody has more or less, and, and, and everybody's going to be happy. Teeme kõik võrdselt, eks kõikidel on sama palju, kõik on sama õnnelikud, kõik on õnnelikud. But that's not how it works. Aga nii see asi ei toimi. Because there's always going to be somebody who has to work more than somebody else and they don't get any more and so then there's Selle pärast, et alati on keegi, kes peab tegema rohkem tööd ja siis ta ei saa rohkem ja siis on selline vastu seis. Listen to me again. Ja kuule mind jälle. The same effort by two different people are not always rewarded in the same way. Et kahe inimese samasugune pingutus alati neid ei tasuta samamoodi. The same effort does not always bring the same results. Sama pingutus alati ei too sama tulemust. Why? Miks? Because life is not fair. Kuna elu ei ole õiglane, elu on ebaõiglane. Life is not fair. Elu on ebaõiglane. You know, and because of your gift, et sinu anni tõttu, you might put a certain amount of effort into something and you'll have a result. Sa võid panna teatud hulga pingutus mingis asja ja sina saad tulemuse. I would take my life and put the same amount of effort. Mina võtan oma elu, siis oma aja ja panen sama pingutuse. But maybe I don't have the same gift as you. Aga võibolla mul ei ole seda sama andi, mis on sul. And I don't get the results that you got. Ja mina ei saa neid tulemusi, mida sina saad. And you think, that's not fair. Ja sa mõtled, kuule, see nüüd küll õigla ei ole. I remember growing up, my best friend, from the time we were in fourth grade all the way through university. Ja ma mõletan seda, et selle ajal, kui ma kasvasin üles, olin laps, siis mul oli sõber siis, kes oli mu sõber alates neljandas klassis, kuni ülikooline. You know, we, we did everything together. Me tegeme kõike koos. And, and one of the things we did not do together was school. We hated school. Ja üks asi, mida me koos ei teinud, oli siis kooli asjad õppimine. Me vihkasime kooli. We did everything we could to get out of school. Me tegeme kõike, mida meie suutsime, et olla eemal koolist. We wanted to go get in trouble have fun play whatever. Me tahtsime minna teha mingit lollusi, lõbud seda, lihtsalt et mida iganes. And Kelly and I, we never studied much. Kelly. Yeah, his name is Kelly. Kelly ja mina me üldse peaga ei õppinud kunagi. We just I mean, we just wanted to play, man. Me lihtsalt tahtsime mängida. I didn't want to grow up. Mina tahtsin suureks kasvada. Like some of you guys, you still haven't grown up. Nii nagu mõned teist, te ikka veel pole suureks kasvanud. But I didn't want to grow up. Aga mina ei tahtnud kasvada suureks. And we didn't study. Ja me ei õppinud. Kelly his grades were fours and fives every year after year after year. Kelly hinded olid neljad viied kogu aega iga aasta. 
Mines were twos and threes. Ja minu hinded olid kahed ja kolmed. And I didn't understand. That wasn't fair. Ja mina ei saanud aru, see ei olnud õiglane. Because he didn't study last night, I didn't study last night. Kuna tema ei õppinud eelmine õhtu, mina ei õppinud eelmine õhtu. He'd get a five and I would get a three. Tema That, sai viie, mina sain kolme. That's not fair. See ei ole õiglane. You know, some people are just good at, at, at tests and good at, at that kind of stuff. Mõned ilmselt on lihtsalt väga hea tunnikontrollida tegemises ja sarnaste asjade tegemises. And I'm not a stupid person. Ja mina ei ole lolline, rumaline. I just inimene. didn't apply myself. I didn't give the effort that I should have given to get the fun. Ma lihtsalt ei rakendanud ennast, ma ei pingutanud, seda, ma ei annud seda pingutus, mida oleks vaja teha, selleks, et saada soovitud tulemust. And I thought, well, just if Kelly's not studying, then why should I have to study? Because he'll get a five, I'll probably get a five. Ma mõtsin seda, et kuna Kelly ei õppi ja ta saab viie, siis ka tõenäoliselt, et mina ei pea õppima, aga mina saan viie. Yeah, we don't need to study, we're smart. Me ei pole vaja õppida, me oleme targade. No, he ei. was smart. Tema oli targ. Not me. Mitte mina. All right, so I needed to learn to put more effort to get a result. Mina pidin õppima, et rohkem pingutada, et saada tulemusi. Because life is not fair. Kuna elu ei ole õiglane. Now there were some areas that I was better than him, just naturally gifted. Ja olid mõned valdkonnad, kus kohas mina olin parem, nende loom oli kandida tõttu. But when it came to school, he always got better grades. Than Aga mis puutus kooli asjade, kooli asjadesse, siis temal olid alati paremad hindade. And so it is not, life is not designed to be fair. Nii et elu ei ole plaanitud olema õiglane. And the truth is this is not everyone is created equal. Ja tõde on see, et meid kõik ei ole loodud võrdseteks, on nii. No, you ei. have areas where you excel, other people will excel in different areas. Sul on olemas valdkondi, kus kohas sina edened, teistel inimestel on teised valdkonnad, kus nemad edenevad. And the sooner you understand that and accept that. Kus nad on edukad siis ja nii pea kui sina mõistad seda ja sa võtad selle vastu. I think the, the, the better we're going to prosper in life. Siis ma usun, et seda paremini meie saame edenema siin elus. You know, and some people might ask, well, how is it in God's system? Ja mõned inimesed ei küsida, aga kuidas on asjad Jumala süsteemis? Does God love everybody the same? Kas Jumal armastab igat ühte Samoodi. Yes, the ja. answer is yes. Vastus on ja. Is everybody treated exactly the same? Kas kõiki koheldakse täpselt samamoodi? The answer is no. Vastus on ei. Look around the world, look around the church. Vaata ringi maailmas, koguduses. You will see that, that, you know, when we get to heaven, as you read the Bible, you'll understand not all are going to be created equally. Kui me jõuame taevas, kui sa praegu sa loed ja piiblid ka, sa näed seda, et kõik inimesed ei ole loodud võrdselt. When we get to heaven, there's going to be some, the Bible says, that will receive a great reward and some that won't receive any reward at all. Piibel räägib sellest, kui me jõuame taevasse, siis mõned inimesed saavad suure tasu, mõned inimesed, mõndadel inimesed ei ole üldse mingit tasu. Some are going to be somewhere in between. Et mõned inimesed on seal vahel kuskil. I want to live my life in a way that I do everything I can to receive a great reward when I get to heaven. Mina tahan elada enda elu viisil, kus kohas mina saan suure tasu, kui ma siit, siit lähen taevasse. And so, but, but there are, are, are some people that they're going to get there and just be glad that they're there, but with no reward. Aga on olemas mõned inimesed, kes jõuvad sinna taevasse kohal, nad on nii tänulikud, tänulikud, et nad sinna paika ei jõudsid, aga neil ei ole seal mingit tasu. So even in the kingdom of God, not everybody is created equally. Ja isegi Jumala kuningriigis kõik ei ole loodud võrdseteks. Not everyone will have the same. Mitte igal ühel ei saa olema see sama. Jesus told us this. He said you will be rewarded according to your faithfulness. Jeesus ütles seda, et sina saad tasu vastavalt oma ustavusele. So you want to receive a, receive a big reward? You got to be faithful. Nii et kui sina tahad vastu võtta suurt autasu, tasu, siis sa pead olema ustav. Be faithful with what God has given you to do in this life and you will receive a great reward. Ole ustav sellega, mis Jumal on sulle siin elus anda teha ja sina saad siis tasu sellest lähtu. But if you are not faithful with what God has given you, you'll receive less reward or maybe no reward. Aga kui sina ei ole ustav selles, mida Jumal sinu kätte on usadanud, siis sina saad kas väikse tasu või üldse mitte mingit tasu. Remember Jesus said to, to that, that one man, he said, well done, good and faithful servant. Ja mäletad, mida Jeesus ütles ühele sulasele, et väga hästi tehtud sa, hea ja ustav sulane. Come and be in charge of ten cities. Tule, valitse kümne linna üle. To another one, he said, well done, good and faithful servant. Ja teise kohta ütles, et hästi tehtud sa hea ja ustav sulane you come and be in charge of one city et sina tule ja valitse ühe linna üle one was in charge of 10 one was just in charge of one et üks valitses kümne linna üle teine ühe linna üle so obviously there's different levels even in the kingdom of god ja väga ilmne on see et ka jumala kuningriigis on erinevad tasemed and you might think well that's not fair ja sina võid mõelda but see nüüd küll ei ole õiglane well, god created it this way jumal lõi selle asja nii and you might not understand why would god create it that way why can't i just be lazy and get a good reward sa, sa ei pruugi mõista mille pärast jumal on asjad loonud nii et miks ma või lihtsalt olla 
laiski ja lihtsalt saada tasu. And a lot of people don't like it that God, God rewards differently to different ja people. Ja paljud inimestele meeldis see, et Jumal annab erinevat tasu erinevatel inimestele. Well, the reason that God set it up like this ja põhjus, mille pärast Jumal pani selle paika nii is so that we would have a desire to be a success. On see, et meil oleks igatsus olla edukas. That we would work hard to be able to get that reward. Et me teeksime kõvasti tööd selleks, et saada kätte see tasu. God knows that we are reward motivated. Jumal teab seda, et me oleme motiveeritud tasus. The reason you go to work is to get a paycheck. You don't go to work because you just want to do something all day. Põhjus, mille pärast sa lähed tööle, on see, et saada sealtsi kätte see palk, mitte see, et nüüd pää läbi tööd teha. Right? On nii. You know, we, we do things because there's a reward connected to. Meie teeme asju selle pärast, et selle selle külg on ühendatud tasu. We come and we serve in church because there's a reward connected to the service. Meie tuleme teenime koguduses, kuna sellega on ühenduses tasu. And so this is this is how how God rewards us. Ja, see on viis, kuidas Jumal annab meile tasu. You give the effort, you give your best, I will reward you. Sina pingutad annad enda parima ja Jumal ütleb, mina annan sulle tasu. And so the normal condition of this world is poverty. That's normal. Selle maailma on normaalne konditsioon on vaesus see on normaalne and and you have to put in a lot of effort to rise out of poverty ja sina pead kõvasti pingutama selleks et tõusta sellest vaesusest välja you need to give effort to rise out of poverty sina pead pingutama selleks et vaesusest välja tõusta if you don't give the effort kui, you could stay in poverty kui sina ei pingutas siis sa võid jääda sinna vaesusest but if you want to get out it's going to take some force aga kui sina tahad saada sellest välja siis selleks on vaja jõudu you know it's like an airplane think of an airplane et nagu lennuk mõtle lennuki peale you know what is it that causes an airplane to crash mis on see mis põhjustab seda et lennuk kukub alla you know and you might think well it you know it's it could be pilot error sa võid mõelda seda et see on what pilot error et see võib olla piloodi viga or it, it could be you know the engine quit või see võib olla see et mootor ütles üles no that's that's not why airplanes crash. Ei, tavaliselt selle pärast ei kuku lennukid alla. You know why airplanes crash? Kas teab mille pärast lennukid alla kukuvad? Gravity. Gravitatsiooni pärast. That's why they crash. See on põhjus mille pärast need kukuvad alla ja lähevad katki. Because they're returning to the normal condition. Selle pärast nad lähevad tagasi normaal konditsiooni. The normal condition even for an airplane is to be on the ground. Isegi lennuki jooks on normaalne konditsioon paikus olla on maa peal. For an airplane to fly, it needs to have a lot of force and a lot of power. Selle pärast et lennuga lendaks tõusaks lahti maast, it... tõusaks mahti tõusaks lahti maasta lendaks, selleks on vaja väga palju jõudu, väga palju väge. It needs to give effort to get off the ground. Et see peab pingutama selleks, et saada lahti maast. And it might be built to fly. Ja see võib olla ehitatud, et lennata. But it's not going to fly unless there's some effort. Aga see ei lenda, kui ei ole pingutust. And it's the same way in the world system. Ja samamoodi on ka maailma süsteemis. The normal condition is poverty. Normaalne konditsioon on vaesus. The normal condition is barely getting by with nothing. Normaalne konditsioon on see, et sa kuidagi vajaliselt saad hakkama nii, et sul ei ole mitte midagi. And it's going to take a lot of effort, it's going to take a lot of force to overcome that condition of ja, poverty. Ja, see nõuab palju pingutust, palju jõudu, et tõusta välja sellest vaesusest. And God promised though, if we do this right, aga Jumal tõotas meile, kui meie teeme seda õigesti, that we could come out of poverty and that we could walk in prosperity. Siis me saame tulla välja sellest vaesusest ja me saame käia edukuses. And this is God's will for you. Ja, see on Jumala tahe sinu jaoks. This is what God desires for us in his family. See on see, mida Jumal igatseb meie jaoks, oma pere jaoks. And he's given us a promise. Ja, tema on annu meile tõotuse. I will bless you. Et mina õnnistan sind. Because of Jesus Christ. Jeesuse Kristuse tõttu. I will bless you. Mina õnnistan sind. Too many Christians accept the lie of the world. Ja, liiga palju kristlased võtavad vastu maailma vale. That is just so hard to prosper. Et lihtsalt nii raske on olla edukas. Life is just so unfair. Elu on lihtsalt nii eba õiglane. And it just, just never goes my way. Ja mitte kuna kassad ei lähe nii nagu mina soovin, minu minu viis ei lähe. And you know God just meet my needs, please just meet my needs. Jumal lihtsalt palun täida mu vajadused, täida mu vajadused. But to, to think about prosperity, we were just like, oh no, no, I could never dream that. Aga mõ, et, aga mõelda edukuse jõukuse peale, selle sellest ei suuda kunagi unistada. But we need to remember the promise of God. Aga me ei pea mäletama Jumala tõotuse. In Galatians chapter 3, let me just read this ja, to you. Ja kiriga laatlaste kolmas peatükki, las ma lugeda sulle seda uuesti. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 Galatlastele 3:29 Remember this is the promise of God Paul inspired by the Holy Spirit is writing this Ja mäleta seda et see on Jumala tõotus et see on Paulus on inspireeritud Jumala poolt kuidas seda kirjutab He said if you belong to Christ then you are Abraham's seed and you're an heir according to the promise Kui te olete aga Kristuse päralt siis te olete järelikult Abrahami sugu ja pärijat tõotuse järgi 
God made a promise to Abraham. Jumal andis tõotuse Abrahamile and to his seed Jesus Christ. Ja tema soole Jeesuses Kristuses. And he said and if you are in Christ. Ja töötas seda, et kui sina oled Kristuses. You are Abraham's seed. Siis sina oled Abrahami sugu. The promise belongs to you. See tõotus kuulub sulle. So we have a promise that God will bring us out of poverty and bring us into wealth. Nii et meil on olemas tõotus, et Jumal toob meid välja vaesusest ja toob meid jõukusest. And even though life is not fair. Ja kuigi see elu on ebaõiglane. If you will give the effort. Kui sina annad enda pool pingutuse. If we put our trust in God. Kui me paneme oma usalduse Jumalale. He will give us the way out of poverty and he will bring us into to a place of enough and then he'll bring us into a place of more than enough. Siis tema annab meile välja see tee vaesuses paika, kus kohas me jõuame, paika, kus meil on küllaldaselt ja sealt edasi paika, kus kohas meil on rohkem kui küllaldaselt. Amen. Amen. I, I'm, I'm believing for me and for you that we're on our way to more than enough. Mina usun enda jaoks, sinu jaoks seda, et me liigume paika, kus kohas meil on rohkem kui küllaldaselt. And when is more than enough enough? Ja millal on siis rohkem kui küllaldane, küllaldane? Well, ask, ask Bill Gates when enough is enough. Küsi Bill Gatesi käest, millal on rohkem kui küllaldane, küllaldane. You know, it's never going to be enough. Et mitte kunagi ei saa olema küllaldane. You know, I would love to be like Bill Gates and be able to give millions and millions to charities all over the world. Mulle meeldiks olla selline nagu Bill Gates, nii et ma saan anda pidevalt miljoneid ja miljoneid hea tegevuseks maailmas. You know, he understands that he is blessed so that he could be a blessing. Ta mõistab seda, et ta on õnnistatud selleks, et ta saaks olla õnnistuseks. And if he gets really blessed, he'll be a really big blessing. Ja kui ta saab väga õnnistatud, siis ta on väga suureks õnnistuseks. He doesn't know it, but he's operating in this principle that we're teaching. Ta ei tea, aga ta toimib selles prinsiibis, mida me ei õpetame. He is blessed saying he is he is a very generous man. Ta õnnistab, ta on väga helde mees ja. And he still wants more. Ja ta ikka tahab rohkem. He's going to go out and sell more computers today. Ja ta läheb, ta müüb ikka rohkem arvuteid kui täna. Because more than enough is not enough. Selle rohkem kui küllaldane ei ole küllaldane. And so we've got to remember God's plan for us. Nii et me peame teama seda, et Jumala plaan meie jaoks is that we continue to increase and that we continue to multiply. On see, et me jätkuvalt kasvaksime, jätkuvalt mitme kordistuksime. And this is the promise that we have from God. Ja see on see tõotus, mis meil on Jumalalt. And so there is one thing that, that brings people out of poverty. On olemas üks asi, mis toob inimesed välja vaesusest. And it's business. Ja see on äri. Business brings people out of poverty. Äri toob inimesed välja vaesusest. And, and people, uh, you know, in the world today, we've talked about this before, but there's such a, a, a negative thing concerning business. Ja tänapäeva maailmas me oleme rääkinud sellest, et maailmas on väga selline negatiivne maik äri küljes. Uh, it's, it, you know, business is bad. Et äri on halb. Big business is the reason that there's all the problems in the world today. Suured ärid on põhjuseks, mille pärast maailmas on kõik need probleemid, mis siin on. Yeah, but, but again, life is not fair. Jällegi, elu ei ole õiglane. And people get mad at business because life isn't fair. Ja inimesed saad vihaseks äri peale, kuna elu ei ole õiglane. You know, not every business is going to have the same result. Ja mitte iga äri ei mitte iga äri ei saa olema samad tulemused. And you know, not every burger restaurant is going to have the prosperity results like McDonald's. Mitte iga hamburgeri restoranil ei saa olema selline edulugu nagu McDonald'sil. McDonald's is all around the world. I've only got one shop. McDonald's on igal pool üle maailma, aga mul on alates üks putka püsti. You know, I sell hamburgers just like they do. Mina müün hamburgerit täpselt nii nagu nemad seda teevad. Mine tastes better than theirs. Ja minu oma on palju maitsevam kui nende oma. It's not fair. See on ebaõiglane. Life isn't fair. Elu ei ole õiglane. Life isn't fair. Elu ei ole õiglane. You need to get a hold of this and understand just because it's not fair doesn't mean you cannot prosper. Sa pead aru saama mõistma seda, et, et see nüüd ei tähenda seda, et kuna elu, see elu siin maailmas pole õiglane, siis sina ei saa, nüüd, see ei tähenda seda, et sa ei saa olla edukas. You can still prosper. Sina saad ikka olla edukas. You might have to give a little bit more effort sa than võib, the other person. Sa võibolla pead rohkem pingutama kui see teine inimene. But you can prosper. Aga sina saad olla edukas. You can do what, what it is that God gives you in your hands. Sina võid saada teha seda, mida Jumal annab sinu kätte sulle teha. And without business, poverty will reign on the earth. Ja ilma ärita vaesus valitseb siin maailmas. But your individual achievements is what's going to bring you to prosper in life. Aga sinu enda pingutused siin elus on need, mis põhjustavad seda edus, mis uh, it'll bring you to prosper. Mis on see, mis aitab sulle olla edukas siin elus. And so you're prospering, you are responsible for that. Nii et see, et, et sa oleksid edukas, sina oled sellest vastutava. You're responsible for your own prosperity. Sina oled vastutav oma edukuses. You can't blame anything or anybody else. Sina oled vastutav oma edukuse eest. Sa ei saa süüdistada mitte kedagi teist. It's not an excuse. Et see ei ole mitte mingi ettekäne. You know, Jews believe that they are not made for poverty. Ja juudid usuvad seda, et neid ei ole loodud elama vaesuses. That, that they are not meant 
meant to be poor. Et ei ole mõelda, et nemad nüüd pead olema vaesed. The poverty is not something that they will accept in their minds. Vaesus ei ole midagi sellis, mille nad nüüd võtavad vastu oma meeltesse. They have this mentality. Neil on see mõtte viis. That there is always a way out. Et alati on tee välja. And God will bless me. Ja Jumal õnnistab mind. Even when they lose everything. Isegi siis, kui nemad kaotavad kõik. Their mentality is not, oh, now I'm poor. Nende mõtte viis ei ole see, ah, nüüd ma olen vaene. Their mentality is, I have less than I used to have. Nende mõtte viis on see, mul on vähem, kui mul varem oli. But I know that there's going to be a way out and God will bless me. Aga ma tean seda, et saab olema tee välja ja Jumal õnnistab mind. We saw what happened to the Jews in the World War II. Me nägime seda, mis juhtus juhtidega teises maailmas ajas. Many of them lost everything. Väga paljud neist kaotsa kõik. The world would have looked at them and thought, oh, they're so poor now. Their mentality was, God will bless us and we will come out of this. Because we're not made to be poor. And even out of World War II, Jews began to explode in their wealth. Ja vaatamata teisele maailma sõjale juudide väga kassasid oma jõukus, sest oli lihtsalt plahvatav. Because they understood business. Kuna nemad mõissid äri. They understood God's system to come out of poverty to a place of abundance. Nad mõissid Jumala süsteemi, kuidas tulla välja vaesusest jõukusesse. And so they never see themselves as poor. Nii et nad mitte kunagi ei näe ennast vaesena. And they always believe that God is with them. Ja nad alati usuvad seda, et Jumal on koos nendega. And nothing would be able to stop them. Ja mitte miski suuda neid peatada. And so this is something that, that, that uh, you know, the, the way they see themselves. Ja see, see viis, kuidas nemad näevad ennast, is no matter how little i have on see et vahet ei ole kui vähe mul on there's always somebody who has less than me alati on kedagi kellel on vähem kui mul and so that's the person i can help need see on see inimene keda mina saan aidata think about that and mõtte selle peale really no matter how rich you get there's always going to be somebody who is richer et vahet ei ole kui rikkaks sa kunagi saad alati on olemas keegi rikkam you know you buy yourself the new car six months later somebody else buys a better car sa ostad endale uue auto kui kuu pärast ostab keegi endale veel parem auto you buy the nicest phone, six days later, somebody else comes out with a better phone. Et sa ostad omale uue telefoni, kuue päeva pärast keegi ostab endale veel parem telefoni. You know, the, you, can't, you can't keep up. Et sa ei suuda sellega sammu pidada. And just like somebody's always going to have more, listen, there's somebody who's always going to have less than you. Nii et kuula, nii nagu alati saab olema keegi, kellel on rohkem, alati saab olema ka keegi, kellel on vähem. Don't accept that title as, as I'm poor. Ära võtta vastu seda pealkirja, mina olen vaene. Say, you know, I'm blessed so that I could help somebody. Vaid ütle seda, et mina olen õnnistatud selleks, et ma saaksin aidata kedagi teist. I have what I have so I could help. Mul on see, mis mul on, selleks, et ma saaksin olla abiks. And then you begin to work the system and God will continue to bless you. Ja siis hakkab panema tööle seda süsteemi ja Jumal õnnistab sind su elus. And so life unfortunately is not about fair. Need kahjuks elu on ebaeglane. But your situation can always change for the better. Aga sinu olukord alati saab muutuda paremuse poole. And there's a difference in your attitude not just your ability ja on olemas ka vahe sinu hoiakus mitte lihtsalt sinu võimekuses you know it's one thing to have ability üks asja on omada võimekust but if you don't have the right attitude all the ability in the world means nothing aga kui sul ei ole õiget hoiakut siis vahet ei ole kas sul on see kõige parem võimekus siin maailmas see, see ei oma mingit tähtsust and what the bible is trying to get us to see and to work on in ourselves ja mida mida piibe proovib panna meid nägema ja mille kalada proovib saama meid töötama is, endas is that no matter what the circ- on see, et vahet ei ole, milline see olukord on. No matter what our race. Vahet ei ole, milline on see meie võistluse. No, our, our, uh, 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 not race like in race, but race as in like. Uh, say second word. Uh, uh, no. Rais, uh, no, but, but. Okay, like whether you're African or whether you're. Yeah, you're rice. Okay, right, okay, yeah. I don't know that word. Okay. So, no, your race. Et um, vahet ei ole, milline on sinu rasse. Russian, Estonian, American, whatever you are. Et sinu rahvus, oled sa venelane, oled sa eestlane, ameeriklane, kes sa iganes oled. No matter what your background is. Et vahet ei ole, milline on sinu tausta. No matter what your gender, if you're a man or a woman. Vahet ei ole, milline on sinu sugu, oled sa nüüd mees või oled sa naine. That you can't use any of those things for an excuse to be lazy. Et sa saa kasutada ühtegi neist asjuste etikäändena, et nüüd olla laisk. You can't use any of those things to say, well, I cannot prosper because. Sa ei saa kasutada ühtegi neist asjuste, et öelda, et nüüd selle pärast mina ei saa olla edukas. Because you can always do something about your situation. Sellest, alati sina saad midagi ette võtta oma selle olukorraga seoses. No matter where you're at in life, you could always do something about your financial situation that you're in. Vahet ei ole kus kohas, mis paigas oled enda elus, sa alati saab midagi ette võtta oma finantsolukorraga. Amen. Amen. Why? Miks? 
Because God is with you. Kuna Jumal on koos sinuga. God is with you. Jumal on sinuga koos. In other words, you have an engine that you can fly. Teisi sõnu, sul on olas mootor, millega sina saad lennata. Amen. Amen. And that engine is the blessing of God on your life. Ja see mootor on Jumal õnnistus sinu elu üle. And the blessing of God, if it will be energized, will take you from where you are to prosperity. Ja siis see Jumala mootor on see, mis annab sulle selle energia, nii et sa tõused ülesse ja sa liigud edasi jõukusesse. And so... Edukusse. Blessing is the engine that will bring you out of poverty. And just because you might be poor today, maybe the world would look at you and say, you are a poor person. You need to understand that is not your destiny. You're not destined to be poor, you are destined to be to be prosperous. Sind ei ole plaanitud olema vaene, vaid sind on plaanitud olema edukas siin elus. God will bless the work of your hands so that you come out of the situation that you're in today. Ja Jumal õnnistab sinu kätte tööd, nii et sina tuled välja sellest olukorras, kus sa praegu oled. And you need to do all that you do with excellence. Ja sina pead tegema kõike seda, mida sa teed, andes oma parima. Do everything that you do with quality. Tee kõike seda, mida sina teed kvaliteetselt. Wherever you are, be all there. Kus iganes sina oled, ole seal täiega kohal. Amen. Täielikult kohal. Give your very best. And God will begin to prosper you in every way. And so you need to get that in you. Make yourself believe that. That no matter what your situation is, God has something better for me. Let's look at a story here real quick. Wow, we're running out of time. But here in Genesis, Genesis chapter 26, Aga siin nüüd esimene Moose raamat. Genesis chapter 26. Esimene Moose raamat ja 26. peadükke. Yeah, uh, just a little bit of background. There's a famine in the land and everybody is starving. Ja natukene sulle taustaks nälg on maal ja kõik on nälgimas. Poverty is ruling. Ja vaesus valitseb. Poverty, the, the, the world is holding back. Ja siis see maa hoiab keda tagasi, ei anna rahvale. And, and so we see here the story in Genesis 26, starting with verse 3. Ja siin me näeme siis esimene Moose raamat, salmi peadu 26, alates salmis 3. It says, stay in the land for a while, and I will be with you, and I will bless you. For to you and to your descendants, I will give all these lands, and will confirm the oath I swore to your father Abraham. Ela võõrana siin maal ja ma olen sinuga ning õnnistan sind, sest sinule ja sinu soole ma annan kõik need maad ning pean vanned, mille ma olen vandunud su isale Abrahamile. And I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars of the sky and give them all the lands and through your offspring all the nations of the earth will be blessed. Ja ma teen su soo paljuks nagu taeva tähed ja annan su soole kõik need maad ja sinu soo nimel õnnistavad endid kõik maailma rahvad. Because Abraham obeyed me and kept my requirements and my commands and my decrees and my laws. Selle pärast, et Abraham kuulas mu sõna ja pidas, mis ma käskisin pidada, mu käske seadusi ja õpetusi. And so God is speaking to Isaac. Need Jumal räägib siin Isaakile. And he's speaking things that we have already heard him speak to Abraham. Ja ta räägib siin asju, mida me oleme juba kuulnud, et teda rääkivad Abrahamile. And he's saying this covenant will remain with you. Ja ta ütleb, et see leping jääb sinuga. And now we need to do our best to obey God and ja. I think we all need to do our best to live right. Ja me peame arma oma parima, et kuuletuda Jumala, Jumal ale ja kindlasti me peaksime arma oma parima, et elada õigesti. But I want you to understand Isaac was not blessed only because of, of how he lived. And the Jews are not only blessed just because of how they lived. The blessing comes upon them because Abraham was obedient. Because Abraham was obedient, the Jews believe the blessing belongs to me. Kuna Abraham oli sõna kuulelik, siis nüüd juudid usuvad seda, et see õnnistus kuulub mulle. The covenant belongs to the Jews because of Abraham. See lepin kuulub juudidele tänu Abrahamile. Now for us? Ja me me jaoks nüüd for those who are not Jews, neile, kes ei ole juudide, for us who are believers in Christ neile, Jesus, kes oleme, kes usume Jeesusesse, Kristusesse, the promise and the covenant belongs to us because of Christ. See tõetuse lepin kuulub meile tänu Kristuse. Not because of your perfect life, mitte tänu sinu täiuslikule elule, but because Christ was obedient. Vaid selle tõttu, et Jeesus oli kuulekas. And because he was willing to go and pay the price for us, we could have blessing in our life. Kuna tema oli valmis ja minema maksma hinda meie eest, saab nüüd meil olla see õnnistus meie eluse. And so just like the 
Jews don't have to requalify for the blessing. Ja täpselt nii nagu need juudid nad nüüd ei pea hakkama uuesti kvalifitseeruma selle õnnistuse jaoks. You don't have to requalify for blessing. Sina nüüd ei pea hakkama ise uuesti nüüd kvalifitseeruma selle õnnistuse jaoks. We do our best to live right and live according to God's word. Me ei anna enda parima et elada õigesti vastavalt Jumala sõnale. But we're not blessed because of us, we're blessed because of him. Aga me ei ole õnnistatud enda tõttu, vaid me oleme õnnistatud Jeesuse pärast. Amen. Amen. He is the one who will reward you in life. Tema on see, kes annab sulle tasu siin elus. And as we keep reading here, let's skip down to verse 12. Ja kui me jätkame siin lugemist, siis üppame edasi salmi 12. And this is after God made the promise to Isaac. Ja see on peale seda, kui Jumal oli annud selle tõotuse Iisakile. And Isaac planted the crops in the land and in the same year reaped a hundredfold because the Lord blessed him. Ja Iisak külvas seal maal ja sai seal aastal saja kordselt, sest Iisand õnnistas teda. And the man became rich and his wealth continued to grow and he became very wealthy. Ja mees läks rikkaks, läks üha rikkamaks, kuni ta oli läinud väga rikkaks. And he had so many flocks and herds and servants that the Philistines envied him. Ja temal oli lamba ja kitsekarju ja veisekarju ja palju peret, nõnda, et Filistid teda kadestasid. What happened here to this guy? Et mis siin juhtus selle mehega? You know, we think that he went and planted his crops and God rained on his crops and nobody else's. Ja me mõtleme seda, et, et see mees, ta nüüd läks istutas oma saagi maha või külvas, siis Jumal lasi vihma tulla tema saagile, aga teistele mitte. And, and we think that's how this happened. But, ja but, meie mõtleme, et see on viis, kuidas see kõik juhtus. According to Jewish Jewish oral tradition. Aga juudi siis suulise traditsiooni kohaselt. You know they have the written word which is the Old Testament. Neil on kirjutatud sõna, mis on vana testament. And then they have the spoken word. Ja siin on ka see räägitud sõna. And according to their oral tradition here, Isaac did not just prosper because his crops were better than everybody else. Ja siin on selle suulise mis siis edasi antud see traditsioon, et Uh, Isaac ei olnud lihtsalt õnnistatud selle pärast, et seegen, his crops were better than everybody else's. Et uh, kuna tema nüüd see saak oli, et tema on, et taimed olid paremad kui teistel. That's not why he prospered. Yeah, that's right. That's see not why ei, he prospered. See nüüd ei ole see põhjus, mille pärast tema oli nüüd edukas. He prospered. Et tema oli edukas. According to Jewish oral tradition. Juudi selle suulise traditsiooni kohaselt. Is that God gave him a business plan right in the middle of a famine. Et Jumal andis talle äri plaani keset kogu seda vaesust. And Nälida. Isaac started the system of money. Ja Isaac pani siis et toimuma selle rahasüsteemi. That he brought money, the system of money into the world. Et tema tõi selle rahasüsteemi siia maailma. He said, you give me ten chickens and I'll give you two of these coins. Ta ütles seda, et näe, et sina anna mulle kümme kana ja mina annan sulle kaks münti. And you take one of those coins and you give it to farmer so and so and he will give you a cow. Sina annad ühe selle mündi farmerile selle selle nimega ja siis tema annab sul lehma selle eest. And then that farmer could come to me with that coin and I will give him bread and eggs. Ja siis see farmer saab minu juurde tulla selle mündiga, siis mina annan talle, mina annan talle seal mune ja siis ma annan talle seal Leib. leiba. He said so because I'm growing and so I, you know let's instead of walking around with our cows and our you know our chickens every day we could walk around with just money. Ja kuna nüüd ma kasvan mul on rohkem tuleb siis ma nüüd ei käi ringi nende kanade ja lehmadega vaid mul on raha selle asemel kasas. And he began this this capitalistic system. Ja siis tema pani toimuma selle kapitalismi süsteemi. Trade vahetus transactions tehingude money raha this is what he began this is Isaac was the one who began that ja see on see mida ta alustas isa kalustas selle asja and and so again he became not just rich the bible says he became very rich ja jälgida ei saanud lihtsalt rikkaks vaid piibel ütleb et ta sai väga rikkaks because god gave him wisdom how to succeed in the world system. Kuna Jumal andis talle siis tarkust, kuidas edeneda siin maailma süsteemis. And through bringing money to a society, he became very, very wealthy. Ja läbi selle, et ta tõi raha siia süsteemi, ta sai väga, väga rikkaks. Now, when you go into business, you need faith. Kui sina lähed usku, siis sa vaja, kui sina lähed ärise, siis sa vajad usku. Because you've got to believe that somebody's going to buy what it is you have to offer. Kuna sina pead uskuma seda, et keegi tahab osta seda, mida sulle on pakkuda. And the Jews understand that faith is very necessary in business. Ja juudi mõistid, et usk on väga oluline it doesn't just happen et see lihtsalt ei juhtu but you've got to put your trust in god that god when i give my best you will bless it and people will want aga sina pead panema usalduse jumalale et et kui ma teen seda siis inimesed tahavad seda ja ma saan edenema and and isaac became rich because people trusted him ja isaac sai rikkaks kui inimesed usaldasid teda and god's blessing on your business and what you do is what is going to cause you to prosper in life ja jumal õnnistus sinu äri üle selles mida sa teed on see mis see toob sulle jõukust we need to use our energy to make the system work for us. Ja me peame kasutama oma energiat, et panna see süsteem toimuma enda jaoks. And we need to stand up for what is right. Ja 
meie peame siis seisma selle ees, mis on õige. Don't sit around and complain. Ja ära lihtsalt istu ja virise. Because every time you sit around and complain, it just takes away from what you do. Selle pärast, et iga kord, kui sina istud ja virised või seisad ja virised, siis see võtab ära sult selle, mis sul on. And we don't want to get to that place. Me ei taha jõuda siinä paikka. We complain about what we don't have. Kus me virisime selle pärast, mida meil ei ole. We just want to put our trust in God and say, God bless what I do. Me ei taha panna oma usalduse Jumala peale ja tänada Jumalalt sellest, et Jumal, sina õnistad seda, sina õnistab mind selles, mida mina teen. And so God is the one who created this system of wealth. Nii et Jumal on see, kes on loonud selle jõukuse süsteemi. This economic system so that we could prosper. Selle majandussüsteemi, nii et me saaksime olla edukade. And if we can learn how to operate in God's system. Ja kui meie saame õppida, kuidas toimida Jumala süsteemis. We can be blessed and we will become a success. Siin me võime saada edukaks ja siin me võime olla õnnistatud ja saada edukaks. And then my last big point here today is this. Ja minu täna viimane suur punkt on see. Jews believe that for us to prosper, you need to know yourself. Juudid usuvad seda et selleks et sa saaksid olla edukas sa pead tundma ise ennast you need to know yourself sina pead tundma ennast ja. say i need to know myself ütleb ma pean tundma ise ennast you need to know yourself you need to learn yourself sina pead õppima tundma ise ennast sa pead õppima ennast see mõtles õppima tundma ennast miks so you can make yourself better selleks et sina saaksid teha ennast paremaks you know you need to be better kas sa tead et sa sa pead saama paremaks no matter how good other people think you are, you need to be better. Vahet ei ole kui hea teised inimesed mõtlad sind olevad, sina pead saama paremaks. Whatever it is that you do, whatever it is you excel at, you can be better. Mida iganes sina teed, milles iganes sina edened, sa võid saada paremaks. And there's many people that have the excuse why they can't be better. Ja on olemas väga palju seda inimesi, kellel on olemas ette käene, mille pärast nad ei või saada paremaks. You know, my background was not so good. Et tea, minu taust ei ole eriti hea. And I did not come from a good family. Ja ma ei tulnud hea, ma pole tulnud heas perekonnast. Ja. And I never had a father who was there for me. Ja mul pole mitte kunagi olnud olemas isa, kes oleks olnud minu jaoks olemas. And I've had so many bad things happen to me in my past. I cannot be that. Ja nii palju siit halbu asja minu jaoks juhtunud siin elus, et ma ei saa olla see. You know, I'm sure that all of us have had bad things happen to us. Ja all. kindlasti igal ühele meist on juhtunud halbu asju siin elus. Ja. And this is not a, you know, who could have the worst sad story time. Ja nüüd see ei ole see aeg, kus kohas on, kelle nüüd on kõige selline kurvem ja hullem elulugu. Because I'm sure to some degree all of us have had a dysfunctional past. Kuna ma usun seda, et igal ühel meist on olnud mingi teatud tasemini selline valestid vale vale elu elu mis on ei ole toiminud korralikult nii nagu peaks and, and so reality is this ja tõde on see reaalsus on see you become a success by how you react to what has happened to you. sina saad edukaks selle põhjal kuidas uh, sina sina saad edukaks nüüd selle põhjal kuidas sa toimid selle suhtes mis on sulle juhtunud how are you going to respond to what has happened to you kuidas sina vastad sellele mis on juhtunud sulle su eluse do you use it as an excuse to to be nothing kas sina kasutad seda asja ette käendanud et, et olla mitte kui midagi why you cannot be miks sina ei saa olla or do you look past that and cause that to be something that will make you stronger so that you can prosper? Või sina vaatab mööda sellest, nii et sa lased sellel saada tugevuseks, nii et sina saad olla edukas siin eluse. And how are you going to prosper? Ja, kuidas sa saad edukaks? People will pick you when they know that you are trustworthy. Inimesed valivad sind, kuna tead seda, et sina oled usaldusväärne. They will pick you when they know that you are a hard worker and no, that you're faithful. Nad valivad sind, kuna tead seda, et sina oled kõva töötegija, sa oled ustav. And it's, they don't pick you because of, you know, the family you grew up in. Nad ei vali sind selle, tõt, selle pere tõttu, kus sina kasvasid üles. You know, when you have to pick a, a, a mechanic, you don't go and ask him, well, what was your home life like? Kui sina lähed valima omale mehaanikut, siis sa ei küsi, kuule, räägi, milline sinu kodu elu oli. No, you say, ei. can you fix this car? And he said, yes, and you say, okay. Ei, sa küsid, et kuule, kas sa suudad korda teha selle auto, ta ütleb, jah, siis sa ütled, Võtan, and if siin. he does a good job for a good price, what do we do? Ja kui tema teeb hea töö, hea inna, siis mida teeme meie? Say, listen, you never get your car fixed, go talk to that guy. Siis me ütleme, et tead, kuule, kui sinu maja auto parandad, siis mine selle mehe juurde. He will treat you right. Tema kohtleb sind õigesti. It has nothing to do with how his dad treated him or, or the bad thing that happened when he was 13. Et seal ei ole mitte midagi pismis sellega, kuidas tema isa teda kohtles või mis ta oli juhtus siis, kui tema oli 13 aastane. It's about what he does right now. Vaid asja on selles, mida tema teeb praegu nüüd. And is he doing right now the very best that he can? Ja kas ta praegu annab oma parima nii hästi, kui ta suudab? If he is, then his business will grow. Kui ta teeb seda, siis tema äri kasvab. It's the guy that's trying to cheat you, his business is not going to do well. See mees, kes proovib sind petta, tema äri ei lähe hästi. You won't go back to him. Sina ei lähe tagasi tema juurde. And so again, we are the ones that have control over how we act in life. Ja jällegi meil on kontroll, kuidas me käitume siin elus. And don't you allow your background and, and the mistakes that you've made 
the things that others have done. Ja ära lasa oma tausta nende vigade tõttu, mida sina oled teinud või asjade tõttu, mis on sulle tehtud. Do not let that hold you back. Hoida nende asjadel sind tagasi. You need to look at yourself as as your number one commodity. Do you understand that? Like you are the, you are your you need to sell yourself. Et sina pead vaatama enda peale kui kõige parema peale, et sina pead ise ennast müüma. You need to sell yourself. Sina pead ise ennast müüma. You are you are in business for you. Et sina oled äris enda jaoks. When you go to work tomorrow, you need to pr- prove to your boss that you are the best you that there is. Kui sina lähed omme tööd tegema, siis sa pead tõestama ülemusele, et sina oled kõige parem sina, kes üldse on. You need to look at yourself as your number one client. Sina pead ise enda peale vaatama, kui sina oled enda number üks klient. And that you make yourself the very best you. Ja et sina teed endas kõige parema ise enda. You need to know yourself. Sina pead tunnma ise ennast, so that you, you can know where you can improve. Et sa võiksid teada, kus kohas sina võid saada paremaks. And you need to, to, to like work on yourself to get to a place where you can have wealth and Ja sa pead tegema tööd enda kallal, et sa võiksid jõuda paika, kus kohas sul saab olla jõukus siin elus. Just like a company will train its employees. Ja täpselt nii nagu firma treenib oma töötajaid. You need to train yourself. Sina pead treenima ise ennast. Find the areas that you, you are not so strong in and begin to work on those areas. Leia need valdkonnad, kus kohas on sa ei ole nii väga tugev ja treeni seal, et saada tugevamaks. And we train ourselves spirit, soul and body. Ja me treenime ise ennast siis nii, me treenime oma oma vaimu, hinge ja ihu. We need to learn to be more honest. Me peame õppima olema rohkem ausad. We want to be loyal. Me tahame olla lojaalsed. We want to be dependable. Me tahame olla sellised, kelle peale saab loota. We want to be hard Keda saab usaldada. Me peame olema kõvad töötegijad. Why? Miks? Because those are the things that, that people are looking for in business. Kuna need on asjad, mida inimesed otsivad äris. Somebody who's dependable and hard working. Keegi, ke, ke, kes on usaldusväärne ja kes teeb tööd kõvasti. Somebody who will be loyal to the company. Keegi, kes on lo- lojaalne firmale. You ask bosses what they want, those are what the things that they want. Kui sa küsid ülemustelt, mida nad otsivad, mida nad tahavad, siis need on need asjad, mida nemad otsivad. They don't say, well, I want somebody who came from a good family background. Nad ei ütle seda, et teha, mina tahan endale tööle kedagi sellis, kelle on väga no. hea selline taust ja kelle pere taust. No, that's not the requirement. Ei, ei see ei ole nõue. It's what is that person? Who is that person? Vaid see, et kes on see inimene, milline tema on. They're faithful, they're happy. Ta on ustav, ta on õnnelik. You know, they, 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 they treat others well. Na, na kohtlev, ta kohtleb teis, teis inimese hästi. That's what people are looking for. Ja see on see, mida inimesed otsivad. And we're in charge of that. Ja me ei oleme need, kes siis valitsevad selle asja üle. You're in charge of that for your life. I'm in charge of it for mine. Sina valitsed selle asja üle enda elus ja mina valitsen selle asja üle enda elus. And so Jews believe that wealth comes from a balanced life. Need juudid usuvad seda, et jõukus tuleb läbi tasa and if you will live that live live your life in the right way Ja, kui sina elad enda elu õigel viisile, they believe that God will, will bless you. Siis nad usuvad seda, et Jumal õnnistab sind. And that wealth will come not because of, of what you do, but wealth becomes comes because of who you are. Ja, see jõukus ei tule selle tõttu, et mida sa teed, vaid selle tõttu, kes sina oled. What you've created yourself to be. Et see, kelleks sina oled, siis loonud ennast olema. That you know yourself and you're developing yourself. Et sina tunned ise ennast, et sina arendad ennast. And then wealth will come to you. Ja siis see jõukus tuleb sulle. And Jesus said this, he said, seek first the kingdom of God ja, and everything will be added to you. Ja Jeesu ütles seda, et otsi kesmalt Jumala kuningriik ja kõike muud lisatakse teile. Amen. Amen. We put him first. Meie paneme tema esi kohale. We look to him and, and God will bless us and reward us in Me, our life. Meie vaatame tema poole ja Jumal õnnistab meid ja annab meile tasu siin elus. And so what Jesus is saying here is you need to, to find the balance in life. Need, mida Jeesus siin ütleb on see, et sa pead leidma siin elus tasakaalu. Don't run after things, you run after God. Et ära jooksa asjade järgi, vaid jooksa Jumala järgi. And when you live right, the blessings will come and they will overtake you. Ja kui sina elad õigesti, siis need õnnistused tulevad, saad sind kätte. Give me three minutes because I know we're late. Anna mulle kolm minutit, kuna ma tean, et me oleme praegu sinne hiljaks. I want to read a couple places. Go to Deuteronomy 28. Tahan sulle lugeda mõned paigad. See on nüüd siis viies Moose raamat 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 2. It says this out of the Amplified Bible. Ja see ütleb nüüd laiendatud piibli tõlkest. It says all these blessings shall come up on you and will overtake you. Kõik need õnnistused tulevad sinu üle ja need uh, lihtsalt võtavad sind kinni. <laughs> if you will heed, if you will listen to the voice of your God. Et kui sina, ku, kui sa paned tähele ja sa kuuled oma Jumala häält. The blessings will come after you and they will overtake you. Need õnnistused tulevad sulle järgi ja need lihtsalt haaravad sind kinni. This is God's promise to you. Et see on Jumala õnnele teotus sulle. Is that blessings will find you if you'll just seek him. Et need õnnistused tulevad, leiavad sind, kui sina lihtsalt otsid Jumalat. And so all you have to do is run after God and the blessings will run after you ja sina pead tegema on see, sa pead jooksma Jumala järgi ja need õnnistused tulevad sulle järgi. And then in, in, in Psalms chapter 34, last place we'll read. Ja edasi laul 34. on viimane paik, kus kohast me loeme. And in verse 8, we'll start reading here. 
Ja siis me hakkame lugema siis eestikeelses tõel yeah. eestikeelses piibels salmist 9. Says taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man who takes refuge in him. Maitske ja vaadake et isend on hea õnnis on mees kes tema juures pelgu paik otsib. Fear the Lord you his saints those who fear him lack nothing. Kardke isendat teie et tema pühad sest neil kes teda kardavad ei ole milleski puudust. The long, young lions may grow weak and hungry but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Noored lõvidki väsivad on näljas, aga kes sissandat otsivad, neil ei puudu mingid head. Come children and listen to me and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Tulge lapsed, kuulge mind, ma õpetan teil issande kartust. So he wants to teach them. Nii et tema tahab õpetada neid. He's going to teach them how to be a, a godly, godly person. Ta õpetab neid, kuidas olla Jumala kartlik isike. Verse 12 says, whoever loves life and desires to see many good days. Ja salmis 13. Kes aga oled, kes hea meelega elaksid ja armastad elupäevi, et näha head põlve. How many you love life? Kui paljud eest armastad elu? How many want to see long days? Kui paljud eest näha, tahad näha häid elupäevi? Good days. Häid päevi. All of us Palju do. Elada. Kõik meie tahame God seda. God put this in us. Jumal on panud selle meisse. And he said, those you who realize what's in you. Ja ta ütleb seda teie, kes te mõistate seda, mis on teis. Come and listen to me. Et tulge ja kuulake mind. And God desires for us to have a full fulfilled life. Ja Jumal soo, et meil oleks selline täielik täidetud elu. And, and he, he wants us to live a balanced life. Ja ta tahab, et me elaksime tasakaalus elu. So that you can get to a place of blessing. Nii et sa võiksid jõuda oma elus õnnistuse paika. And when God blesses you. Ja kui Jumal õnnistab sind. As it tells us in Proverbs, there is no sorrow that comes with that. Nii nagu ütleb õpetus sõnades, siis tema ei lisa sellele kurbuste. We, when God blesses us, it is, it is real. Kui Jumal meid õnnistab, siis see on tõeline. And we can enjoy it. Ja meie saame nautida and seda. And so he's saying, listen to me, let me teach you. Ja ta ütleb, et kuula mind, las ma õpetada sinda. Verse 13, verse 14 ja in Estonia. Ja salmist 14. Says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking lies. Turn from evil, do good, seek peace and pursue it. Hoia oma keelt kurja eest ja oma huuli pettust rääkimast. Hoidu kurjast ja tee head, otsi rahu ja nõua seda taga. So you need to act right. Need sa pead käituma õigesti. You need to have the right attitude. Sul peab olema, sul peavad olema hõiged hoiakud. And you need to speak right. Ja sa pead rääkima õigesti. If you want to prosper in life. Kui sina tahad olla edukas siin elus. You need to act right. Siis sa pead käituma õigesti. You need to have the right attitude. Sul peab olema õiged, sul peavad olema õiged hoiakud. And you need to speak right. Ja sa pead rääkima õigesti. And you will increase in wealth. Ja siis sul siis sa saad kasvama jõukusese. It's God's promise to us. Sel Jumala tõotus meile. This is what the Jews believe and they work this and it, it, it works. Ja see on see, mida juudid usuvad. Nad on pannud selle asja, nad on töötanud selle kallal ja see asi toimib nende They jaoks. understand God's system to bring wealth. Nad mõistavad Jumala süsteemi, kuidas saada jõukust. And notice he said to get rid of the destructive behavior before you work on the good. Ja siin sa näed seda, et siin räägib, et sa ennem saaksid lahti sellest ennast hävitavast käitumisest ja sa toimiksid teispidi, nii et sa hakkad endale lisama. He said, stop lying and stop speaking all those bad things and then do good. Ja ta ütleb, et tead lõpetega valetama enne kõikide nende hassade, halbade asjade rääkimine, hakkake tegema head. And so why does God give us the power to get wealth? Miks Jumal annab meile väe soetada jõukust? So that we could have influence. Selleks, et meil saaks olla mõju. So that we can do good in the world. Et meie saaksime teha head siin maailmas. Why does God want you blessed? Miks Jumal tahab, et sa oleksid õnnistatud? So that you can make a difference. Et sina saaksid tuua muutuse. So that you can be a blessing to those that are around you. Et sina saaksid olla õnnistuseks neile, kes on sinu ümber. That anybody who comes into contact with you will be so glad that et they did. Iga üks, kes puutub kokku sinuga, siin elust oleks nii õnnelik, et ta siis puutus sinuga kokku. And so the point of the, my message this morning is to be the very best you that you can be. Nii et minu tänase jutlusese põhiline mõte on see, et sa oleksid parim sina, kes sa saad olla. Life is not fair. Elu ei ole õiglane. Right? But you can be the best you. Aga sina saad olla parim sina. You learn you. Sina õpid tundma ise ennast. You can do something great with your life. Ja sa saad teha midagi suurt oma eluse. And so God will bless us. Need Jumal õnnistab meid. God wants you to live a balanced and fulfilled Jumal life. Jumal tahab, et sa elaksid tasakaalus ja täidetud elu. If we will just make the, the effort to be the best that we can be. Ja me saame seda elu elada, kui me lihtsalt anname pingutuse, et olla parim meie, kes Amen. me saame olla. Did Amen. you get something out of this today? Kas sai täna midagi sellest? Lord God, would you Auksus stand and I want to pray over you this morning? Ja palun tõusekos minu. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you.